In this video, we're going to break down all 11 of Trayvon Diggs' interceptions from his second year in the NFL. This first interception against Tampa Bay, they're running a slip screen and it bounces off Leonard Fournette's hands. Trayvon Diggs intercepts it. Uh, really good recognition here. It's hard to tell if they're in man coverage or if they're maybe playing some sort of cover two where he's supposed to fall off into that zone. Uh, but either way, really good eyes by Trayvon Diggs to understand uh, where the play was going and then make a play. On the second interception, he's in press man against Keenan Allen, who is notorious for having great releases off the line of scrimmage. Um, and like he does to a lot of young corners, Keenan Allen gets off a pretty good release, uh, gets some initial separation. The ball is thrown a little bit behind him, not the best pass by Justin Herbert, but really good job in recovery um, and then just an outstanding play on the ball. Third interception, Dallas is playing off man coverage and Trayvon Diggs reads the route all the way. Not the best pass uh, from Jalen Hurts. Main issue here from Hurts is the velocity, but real issue is that not, uh, not a very effective route from Devontae Smith here. Now into week four, again, off-man coverage. This is where Trayvon Diggs really thrived. Uh, Sam Darnold is just gonna kind of loft one up here. Trayvon Diggs just has the acceleration to pounce on it. All right, now this interception, I think that the Cowboys are playing cover two and J. Ron Kirst just gets completely turned around right here because Sam Darnold has a receiver screaming wide open, but he just makes a terrible read, throws it directly to Trayvon Diggs, and he's able to get some yards uh, after the interception. All right, now this play is cover three, and it looks like Trayvon Diggs kind of gets beat here, but really the safety, the deep safety does a terrible job of playing over the top. And then Daniel Jones underthrows it and Trayvon Diggs gets an interception. All right, this one against New England, he's in the slot defending a slant route uh, from off coverage. Not really anything that uh, you can do about that. Should be a pretty easy completion, uh, but the receiver drops it. Trayvon Diggs gets a pick six. So on this interception, he technically gets beat, uh, but he's in a really difficult spot because he's trying to defend this blaze out from off coverage and he's facing inside towards the quarterback, given a little bit of outside leverage. So just not really a lot of corners that are gonna be able to defend that route, um, but he does allow a little bit of separation and then the receiver and Matt Ryan have a miscommunication. This is a pretty underrated interception. The Cowboys are playing press cover two and they're basically running a corner route, trying to get this whole shot into the soft spot of the zone. And Trayvon Diggs does a great job getting enough depth, making sure that he's feeling out the route and then getting his eyes on the quarterback. Probably definitely underthrown here, but still a really nice play. This interception against the Giants is pretty much just a broken play, kind of jump ball situation, which Trayvon Diggs, for the most part, wins. And then final interception of the season against Terry McLaurin, uh, defending a go route from off coverage. Again, pretty much just a jump ball situation, but really good hips here. Uh, does a really good job of recognizing that at a certain point um, where when Terry McLaurin hasn't cut off his route yet, he's just running vertically. And so you just gotta turn on the jets and does a great job with the contested catch. 